welcome back to GSA Connects Cast. I'm your host, Kira Grenet, and with me today is another award winner. We've got some great award winners this year. This is the Arthur L. Day Medal Awardee, Janice Bishop, and her nominator, Scott Murchie. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Love it. Great to be here. <laughs> well, first of all, Janice, congratulations. Thank this you. is an honor. Um, now, you were honored at the Presidential Address and Awards Ceremony, it sounds very official, um, where you were presented with the Arthur L. Day Award. Fantastic. On stage by GSA President Chuck Bailey. So how was that experience? I feel deeply honored to be awarded the Day Medal, and it was so much fun. Chuck had sort of a Hollywood theme, and I was really excited to be part of that. And also, my field is planetary geology, which is a bit of a sort of a side thing for GSA. So it's really awesome that planetary geology gets this recognition today as well. I agree. I, I, I'm fascinated by planetary geology personally. I think that's wonderful. Um, now, in your acceptance speech, what was the main message that you really wanted to impart to the audience? Well, the Day Medal is for applying chemistry and physics to geology, and that's exactly what I do. So I use spectroscopy and mineralogy to try to understand the geochemistry of planets. And so we use physics to understand how light reflects off the surface, and chemistry to understand the vibrations of minerals, depending on their mineral structure. And so that tells us which minerals are present on planets, and then the different minerals form under different geochemical conditions. So we use this then to try to determine was there neutral water or acidic water or salty water, and then the temperature of the water, was it cold or warm or hot? So we can tell a lot about a planet based on a little bit of chemistry and physics. Right, study it, and you see exactly what's been going on there, right? That's beautiful. Now, what impact do you think that this award's gonna have on your career? Well, of course, it means a lot to me to be receiving this, but I think also to planetary geology, it's really wonderful that we could get this recognition and also the remote sensing community. So for planetary remote sensing, we're identifying minerals on planetary surfaces, and the orbital work has really transformed our understanding on Mars and the Moon and Ceres and some icy bodies. So I'm hoping that NASA will employ more orbital remote sensing on future missions. So that's that's really my hope um, for the future. That would be great. Yeah, we want, we want to see that happen. <laughs> that would be awesome. Okay, I'm gonna turn to you, Scott. As the nominator, okay. which is fantastic, I and mean, thank you, obviously, um, for other people listening in who might be considering nominating a fellow, what advice would you give them? What led you to actually pursue nominating her? Well, what motivated me was that Janice has had a really large footprint in our study of the planet Mars. If you go uh, all the way back to every landed mission since Mars Pathfinder, the researchers on those missions have used Janice's lab work to help understand their data. Uh, Janice and I work together on uh, an instrument called CRISM. It's an imaging spectrometer on the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. And she was one of the original key eyes P, uh, co eyes and has had some key results in, in addition to which she's mentored a whole bunch of students at different points in their career. In, in fact, one of my colleagues at the Applied Physics Lab is a second generation mentee of, of Janice's. Um, nice when you get that down the road. That's yeah. very cool, like a actually. Grandchild. It, it like all comes together. It's like a grandchild. Yeah. Exactly. And um, she's had come up with some of the uh, most revealing results of our investigation, like the environments in which sulfate minerals formed on Mars, which tells us about past water and habitability, and also what the climate must have been like for uh, clay-like minerals to have formed at the planet's surface three and a half mm. billion years ago. Absolutely, very cool stuff. Now, how has having nominated somebody who won the GSA award made a difference for you, for the awardee, and, and for the you know geosciences community? Well, as for me, I'm thrilled to see Janice get uh, the recognition she deserves for all of her contributions. For the community, I think that Janice and other senior female scientists really are role models for uh, young women who are thinking of pursuing careers in science, technology, engineering, and math because it helps to give them the courage to take the leap into fields that have historically been male-dominated, and that male dominance is disappearing very quickly. 
And I have noticed that myself just here at the convention, you know, the amount of people walking around, just as many women as men, it seems, today. Yep. There are a lot of women here, yeah. Yep. But for the medals, like the day medal, there are a few women, but it's a long history of men. So I'm particularly happy to be helping um, promote women in, in receiving this award. And that's fantastic. We're happy to have you. Thank you so much for your time today, Janice and Scott. Uh, and hey, if you're thinking of nominating a colleague, I think this is the story you need to listen to. Go ahead and do it. <laughs> I'm Kira Grenet. Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll be back with more.